Hey what's up coders welcome back to my channel. In this video I'll show you how to use a pop-up menu button in your Flutter application. Now whenever I say a pop-up menu button usually it, uh, people try to place it on the app bar on the corner so that when you click on it you either you can add your settings or edit profile or you can log out or those kind of options you add. Now I was just looking at a particular design uh, and I found this what if I could actually use the pop-up menu button on grids or car is it possible so I was just trying to experiment it and I saw that it is possible but I don't know if it's right or wrong but just wanted to try it and it worked out and I thought I'll share it with you so here I have a very simple um, well I can show you my emulator so I have a simple grid view here where it uh, displays uh, chapters. Say for example, if you have an online course app and you want to display all the chapters um, in your app and then you want to maybe mark favorites or maybe mark you a bookmark of the chapters, how is it possible? Yes, uh, instead of using an icons on the cards, uh, I thought let's use a pop-up menu and it was possible so if you click on this you get a pop-up menu so on individual cards it's possible to get this menu and uh, yeah so we're gonna see how to create this pop-up menu uh, on these grids and uh, yeah let's proceed with it so I'll clear up the template and we will start working on it okay so as a basic template I have a simple grid view with a gradient colors into it so I'm not going to create show you how to create a grid view because it's very basic but still if you want something uh, as to how you want to know how to create this grid view please leave a comment in the below uh, section and I will pick it up and I'll create another video exclusively for this grid view with this kind of gradient colors in it and yeah so I'll just walk you through this app uh, where I have uh, I mean uh, where I've created this grid and then we will start adding the pop-up menu so here I have a simple uh, home page dot dot where it has um, uh, an app bar uh, with the title and the search and then it actually creates a grid view now I'm keeping everything all the widgets that I'm creating I'm keeping it in a separate file so that when I'm if I want to edit or change something it's very easy for me and I've created another dot file which is chapter which has all the content into it and I have made it like kind of a list so that it would be easy for me to retrieve all the details now this is the main file so in this file I've used a grid view so it's a simple two column grid view and I've added a child aspect ratio of 0.9 so that I could get a little more um, lengthier grid than a square grid and then I'm trying to loop through all the grid views and picking it up from my um, chapters dot dot file and the content of the grid starts here so basically it's a container with a box decoration and it picks up the gradient colors one and two and these colors are fed in this for simplicity and demo purpose so now we are done with the gradient now we move on to the uh, pop-up menu so to start up with the pop-up menu I'm placing the uh, pop-up menu exactly over this box at the top right corner so it's basically trying to place something overlaying over something so for that we use stack so that's what I'm going to do here so we're going to use stack and then place the pop-up menu bot, uh, button using position widget. So I'm going to quickly um, type in that for you so that you could see what I'm using. So it's a child with a column widget. And inside the column widget, I'm using a child array children with a container. This is my first container that actually focuses on the stack part so I'm giving a height to the container let me scroll up okay I'm giving a height to my container which is like 50 and now I'm going to use a child saying stack and this has a children widget array and inside this I'm going to use my position now this position uh, widget I'm going to give three, two parameters first one is right with zero just to ensure that I get it on the right top corner giving that effect of a menu button 
and uh, with a top of zero and then my child so this is where I'm going to place my pop-up menu button so I'm going to use a pop-up menu button okay there you go we have it okay now this has few factors so first one is the item builder but I'm going to use an icon so that I actually have a control over the icon color because by default it gives me black so I've used the same uh, I've used font awesome icons and I've used this icon which is nothing but the same dots and I've used a white color now moving on to my item builder so first thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, type the builder context build context okay I'm going to give context with that. okay then next I'm going to use a return menu items I'm going to explain this uh, once I'm done with this then you'll have a clear picture as to what I'm doing so here what I'm going to do is I'm using a map so that I can use my menu items which is in the other file I'm retrieving the menu item content from my other file okay and here Yeah, so it's a return, it has a semicolon thing. Okay, I, I think uh, the one that it's missing is it needs a pop-up menu items where you can add your menu item list. So this will have another return with pop-up menu items. So you can see that here and this. Okay, let me finish up this and then we can add it uh, okay so here I have a child and here I'm using a child is nothing but it's a list style so that I could add a leading type leading icon and a title so I'm just going to quickly grab that and um, we can add it okay okay there you go so I have a list style so let me clear up this um, a little bit so let me see what am I missing here so it's a pop-up item and um, then after that I think I have an extra okay this is a semicolon so uh, yeah so whenever I say map it has to be to list because I'm using a list and then converting it to the list and then yeah there you go so okay it's not with a capital I it's the small one so let's use the same thing okay so let me explain you what here what exactly I added so I said it's a menu button and I'm using my icon the icon is this one um, let me show you my demo page okay this these icons and I want it in white color and also wanted to control the size of it so I use them next I'm using the menu item list that's from my menu item file so here I have my icons and my text of my menu items so I've made, put it in a separate file then next we are returning the pop-up menu items so this is where your items are displayed so here I'm saying it's going to be a list style with a leading and a title so the leading is nothing but an icon and the title is nothing but a uh, menu item text and the color is being picked up from my item so this is how you add a menu item button inside your um, grid so I'll quickly build this and I'll show you how it looks so this has built successfully and you can see it is just a simple grid with the menu icons so if I click on them you can see that it displays those menu items which is nothing but the leading and the title uh, icon so it's it has been picked up from your menu item file so similar way if I click on this I can get the same details now since I need to add the chapter 1 and chapter I mean the chapter details inside um, the grid it is simple container with text so I'm just gonna quickly grab that so that um, I can avoid some typing okay 
So there you go, it's a simple container with a text and I'm picking up the chapter name and the color, font size and the weight. And I'm also adding some padding to it so that it's, it's aligned in the center or I could use a center widget. And also I'm just going to add only the top padding and not all the side. So I'm giving it a top. And yeah, and there is another thing when, uh, okay, first let me build this and then I'll talk about the option that the pop-up uh, button has. Um, so if you look at the final product, okay, there you go. So you see, you can see the details of the chapter. So you can add a little bit of padding or you can get it center. So when I click on these pop-up menu items, is it possible to click on this and achieve some kind of an action on this? Yes, it is possible. And that you could do it in your pop-up menu button. There is a function called... Okay, wait. It's called... Yes, I think it's on selected. Let me read. Yes, it was on selected and it was inside this so if you click on this pop-up menu button you have a couple of options which is on selected or on cancelled so say for example by using on selected you wanted to add these uh, chapters to your favorite icon you can definitely do it or cancel you want to close that particular page or bookmark you can definitely do it so there is a possibility but since this video's uh, focus was to show you how to create it um, so i'm just keeping it simple but definitely if you want me to show how to add those actions please leave a comment and i'll do a video on it so this is how you can achieve a um, pop-up menu button on your flutter application and exclusively on a card or a grid or a list style so definitely you can even add this on images so just please try this and let me know how it works and um, yeah so that's it for this video if you like it give it a like and share and if you find this informative please do subscribe thank you